Welcome everyone, today our player bio video is on Cade Cal, the new superstar from the San Jose Earthquakes that's emerging at such a young age and even making some noise to join the US men's national team at this point. So in today's video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about him. We're going to go through transfer rumors, how he got where he is currently, his bio stats, and I'll also be doing my own analysis on his strengths, weaknesses. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. Before we start, I'd like to give a special shout out and a special thank you to Devin Cowell, Cade Cowell's father, for providing a lot of great content for this video, some videos, pictures, and some information that I had to check with him as well. So a big special thank you to Cade Cowell's father, Mr. Cowell. So yes, listen up. We're going to talk about the U.S. Men's National Team as well, L3 because Kate Cow is a dual national. He is American and Mexican, so he could play for both. We're going to talk about if they reached out. We do have information on that. With that said, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. You know, it takes one second. It really helps everyone find us. And I won't be just annoying you guys. I can annoy other people as well. So make sure to hit the like button right now. So I really have nothing else to say but to roll the episode because I've been talking a little bit too much. Oh yes, 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 and I completely forgot. I don't have a San Jose Earthquakes jersey, so I'm just wearing my MLS Club jersey, Orlando City. Now we can roll the episode. All right, so let's start with the transfer updates. And there are many sources connected to Cade Cow that have told me that there are teams in the top five leagues interested in Cade's game, uh, on signing him. But essentially, they couldn't confirm what clubs they were. They didn't want to talk about, didn't want to talk about transfer fees. But there are clubs in contact and watching out for Cade. It is true. Now, I have seen some reports of Barcelona. I was not able to confirm that as well. I don't know if that is true or not. I can't confirm or deny it. But there are clubs in the top five leagues interested in Cade Cow right now. Now let's dive into Cade Cowell's background and see how he got where he is today. Cade Cowell was born in California back in October 14th of 2003. So yes, he is American, but he's also Mexican due to his family ties. Cade Cowell has been involved with many different sports throughout his life in general. And for someone as athletic as he is, you would think he would go towards football, especially in the United States. And well, he almost did actually. His dad, Devin Cowell, was a former NCAA wide receiver for San Jose State and has trained Cade during his childhood and probably plays a big influence in Cade Cowell's dedication to sports in general and more specifically now to soccer. Cade Cowell did not go all in on soccer until his U15 level. Before that, he was involved with many different sports. So when he was around 14, he played football, baseball, and he was actually quite impressive in track. And I mean, he did run the 100 meters in 11.4 seconds while he was still in eighth grade. Now, one thing I need to point out, too, is Kate Cow actually almost went to college for football. So he almost went towards a football career rather than soccer. But since the San Jose Earthquakes were already in touch with him, his family and Kate Cow himself believed the best route for him to take was going as a professional soccer player. So congratulations to the San Jose Earthquakes for recruiting Kate Cow out of football. So what I can say from that is soccer one, football zero. So at the U15 level, he finally started to go all in in soccer. He played for the Ballistic Academy at California, where in 2017, he led the nation with 32 goals in 34 matches. However, they were not an MLS Academy, so he did have to go a different route if he wanted to go professional. And then he was going to move on to the RSL Academy around age 15. But due to the territorial rights rule which i talk about so often here in the channel he was not able to join rsl because he was only allowed to play for the san jose earthquakes which he gladly did so but he wasn't able to change and i, I talk about how this territorial rights rule it only helps owners that don't want to invest in their academies but it's okay Cade went to the san jose earthquakes which he gladly played for and he gladly plays for currently during age 15 he went straight to the u19s of the san jose earthquakes a little after turning 16 and after signing his, signing his homegrown deal, he joined their USL affiliate, Reno 1868. He did not stay there for very long, roughly six months. Later, he would then go on to debut for the San Jose Earthquakes at their US Open Cup match at June of 2019. Now, in March of 2020, he would earn his first MLS minutes coming in as a sub at their 5-2 loss to Minnesota United. From that, we had the lockdown, obviously, and he would go back to play for the San Jose Earthquakes only in August of 2020. And that brings us to the current season where he's truly breaking out at age 17, which is quite impressive. But before we talk about the current season, let's go to his player bio. K. 
Cade Cow, born in October 14th of 2003, so he's roughly 17 years old right now. He's 5'11", he shoots with his right foot, he currently plays for the San Jose Earthquakes in MLS. His position is a center forward slash winger, so pretty much a forward, but we've seen him play more as a center forward this season. His nationality, he's American and Mexican, and his current market value is $660,000, according to the transfer market. But look, most certainly if he gets a transfer to Europe, it'll be much higher than $600,000. Much, much higher. It's probably not updated right now. I would assume Cape Cow right now is worth at least $3 million. Okay, so let's talk about his stats with the San Jose Earthquakes. So for the San Jose Earthquakes, he has 28 games, 3 goals, and 4 assists. However, this season he has two goals and three assists in just eight games, starting every single match for the San Jose Earthquakes at the time of this recording, June 15th. He's also the youngest goal scorer in club history when he scored against the LA Galaxy in August of 2020, two months before he turned 17. So look, I know it doesn't sound that good when you look at all the stats, but the kid just turned 17 last year in October. He has this season been very impressive playing as a center forward. I'm going to get later in the video why I think he shouldn't be playing as a center forward. But he has been nothing but fantastic in MLS. And he's playing against grown man right there and doing his thing. It's been absolutely fantastic. Now let's talk a little bit about this national team. And then I'll go at the end of the video get my opinion on Cade Cowell. All right, U.S. men's national team. So Cade Cowell did play for the U16s and U17s. He even scored a goal against Chile at the Nike Friendlies in 2019-ish. So for the U.S. men's national team U17, he has three caps and one goal. Now, one thing to point out is the Mexican Federation has reached out to the San Jose Earthquakes and talked a little bit about KCAL, but they haven't reached out yet directly to KCAL or his family. That's just an update I wanted to give you guys. So, yes, the U.S. men's national team is obviously in touch with him, the U.S. Federation, but the Mexican one is not directly in touch with him, but they're keeping an eye on him. So he could go either way. Where would he choose? I don't know. I personally think KCAL would go with America, but... That's just my opinion. I haven't heard anything from Kate himself. Now let's go to the final section of the video where I will be addressing my opinion on Kate Cowell, his strengths, his weaknesses, uh, and where he could go later on in the future. Okay, so what is my overall takes on Kate Cowell? The first thing I think is he's being played out of position. I don't like Kate Cowell as a center forward, a lone center forward. I don't think he's at his best when he's playing with his back to the defense. Kate Cowell is very good one on his runs. He's very fast, very athletic. I personally think Cade Cow would be best as a right winger. His crosses has been have been very impressive. His crossing ability has actually surprised me. His finishing has been good as well, so I would be okay with Cade Cow playing as a second striker. I would not put him as a center forward. Now, when it comes to athletic ability, he is as athletic as any grown man or probably more to be honest the kid is very strong very fast everything there doesn't really even need to improve i think he's all the way up there even though we probably will see him improve that over time his crossing ability has been very good his finishing has been good and we even saw some some flashes of talent in regards to vision on some assists that he got earlier this season but one thing i think Cade needs to improve and he's definitely working on that is some of the technical ability part of his game the dribbling is okay, but how is his dribbling on tight spaces? How is his first touch? His hold-up game up top also can most certainly improve. And those are aspects that you need as a center forward. As a winger, he probably wouldn't need it as much. That would be probably a way to exploit his talent even more. Now, if I had a rate Cade Cow's potential from 1 to 5, I would actually give him a 3.75. I think Cade Cow has the potential to be a top quality player, go to Europe, play in the top 5 league, and have a major impact. The dedication, the athletic ability, and the current talent he has are more than enough to be successful. And what he's doing in MLS at age 17, that's not for any player. It definitely is not for any player. Can he reach a world-class status one day? Only time will tell. I don't know. World-class is a whole different new level. We never had a U.S. men's national team player in a world-class level, so only time will tell. So my final thoughts on it, I hope that he becomes a right winger eventually. I think that will definitely get the best out of him. And guys, comment down below your thoughts on Cape Cowell. What do you think? Is he a right winger, a center forward? How do you think he'll perform better? Where do you want him to go in the future? And will he choose the U.S. men's national team or L3 if both opportunities arise? And I want to thank you all very much for watching, guys, and have a great day.